What's going on? You're watching Progressive Pulse. I'm Steve Rodriguez. We're here in San Francisco at the opening of Frameline 32. It's the LGBT Gay and Lesbian Bisexual Transgender Film Festival in their 32nd year. We're here at the opening night for Affinity, the period piece that opened today. And we're going to get some comments and some viewer feedback of this opening night film. Let's take a look. With, with a couple of very small additions, um, we, I think stay very, very true to the book, and that was always our intentions. Um, it, it was such an impressive book, such an impressive script. Um, sort of, all I had to do then was was put some some talent, which came really in the shape of the cast and Tim Fowler, the director, and it just came together. We shot the film in Lima, not Romania. Uh, obviously, because it's set in Victorian London. And, um, you know, despite the wonderful work and despite us trying to put the best team together, it absolutely relied on, on frankly, on Anna and Zoe fronting that film. Um, it's just an amazing story that you meet someone at that point in her life, she's just lost her father, and. And there's so much going on with her, and I just thought that character in that time, a lesbian woman who has no word for who she is, who has no one else to talk to about her identity, I just thought that was that was something really interesting, and I really wanted to be uh, part of telling that story. And um, and also, I just think it's a beautiful love story. I'm not sure now what my inspiration was. You know, I'd, I'd written Tipping the Velvet. This was my second novel, and Tipping was so upbeat. Um, that it was tremendous fun, and it was very, you know, it was, it was about um, a women or a woman who had a range of possible ways of being a lesbian. But having done that, I sort of thought, actually, it'd be really interesting to tell a very different sort of Victorian story too tempting not to write about. And plus, I'd always, I'd, I've been interested in spiritualism for a long time, and I knew a bit about how women had become, actually, especially working class women, it was a, it was a, a forum for them to become quite powerful in, and they did often manifest, apparently, male spirits who were quite sexy, actually, and there was very interesting things going on in those dark seances. And, the, you know, the combination of the dark seance and the dark prison and young girls being tied up, and it was all sort of bubbling up. <laughs> Um, I didn't have to do much to it, really, to kind of... <laughs> um, and one, one of the things I love about the adaptation are the spiritualist scenes, which I think do catch that, the queerness, the, the real queerness in all sorts of ways of, of Victorian spirit, spiritualist activity. Lee, what did you think of Affinity? I liked it, and I loved the twist at the end. It totally surprised me. I had no idea that it was... The we're not giving away any secrets, but it was great. Do you think it was a good choice for opening night of uh, the frame yeah, line? Yeah, it's a little bit darker than normal, but yeah, I thought it was a good choice. Sage and Claudia, what did you think of Affinity? Uh, I thought it was awesome. I thought it was a really beautiful love story. Um, the twist was great. You don't expect it. Um, but I like the way that even though it's tragic, it's still um, beautiful and touching and lovely in the end. Mark, what did you think of Affinity? Oh, it was hot. It was, um, well, I like, I like historical, you know, period pieces. And I had actually read Sarah Waters' first book. Which was different than this. It, it was way different. It was like a fantasy of who you could be. Oh. And this one turned out to be a different sort of story, yeah. Cool. I'm not going to tell you the end. What do you think of such a darker themed film as the opening for Frameline 32? Oh, well, congratulations, we've grown up. Um, it used to be that uh, lesbians screamed if there was a penis in a movie. It used to be that I remember back when gay men had attitudes like, Ew, how could you even think about something like that down there? Now we can even have a, dark, let's just say, dark-themed film, yeah. 